Hi, I'm Marcello Mastriani, and you're at Trailers from Hell. Now we're going to look at the trailer for truly one of the most influential and innovative movies of all time. I have to tell you that Pauline Kael, in my favorite critics quote ever, referred to this film as colossally, no, monumentally unimaginative. Anyway, 1968 from Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer, Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey. It was written by Stanley Kubrick and Arthur C. Clarke, inspired and really based on an Arthur C. Clarke short story called The Sentinel. This is a game changer. This is a amazing trailer that I've never seen before that Joe Dante found, which is a pretty straightforward kind of summary of the film. There's the space station to the Strauss Blue Danube Waltz, which is an extraordinary sequence. This is a film filled with brilliant ideas. Leonard Rossiter is a Soviet. It's odd because it's the future and they still have Pan Am. But nonetheless, this is a dazzling movie that's been so copied and so influential. There were really innovative special effects invented by Doug Trumbull, Wally Vivers, Con Pedersen, and Stanley Kubrick. Extraordinary photography by Jeffrey Unsworth. Production designed by Harry Lang, Ernest Archer, Tony Masters. It hasn't been covered up by natural erosion or other forces. It seems to have been deliberately buried. And the ideas in this movie are so solid. This is the Dawn of Man sequence. He uses the other Strauss both Johann and Richard, because he has Thus Sprach Zarathustra. Alex North actually wrote a score for this film after an unsuccessful preview at the Astor Plaza in New York City. Stanley Kubrick famously went to Sam Goody's on Broadway and bought a whole bunch of Deutsche Grammophon cassettes and rescored the picture from that. And it's astonishing because the music is so perfect. I've always felt that Kier Dulé and Gary Lockwood never got the praise they should. Their performances are actually dazzling. And this is a remarkable movie that's been copied by everybody. This mission is too important for me to allow you to jeopardize it. I don't know what you're talking about now. This conversation can serve no purpose anymore. I saw this before it came out, accidentally knowing nothing about it, and it blew me away. The best thing about this, I think, for me, is I saw Arthur Clarke do publicity for it, and he said, this was 1968, he said, by the year 2010, there will be no difference between technology and magic. Sadly, he's right and doesn't seem to make a difference. This is a great motion picture. Mm -hmm.